friends. Thank you so much for watching my channel. My name is Alma Sena and I'm a part-time reseller on sites like Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, Kidison, and a couple others. But today I wanted to do a haul with you guys. It's going to be kind of a bigger haul. I may have to split this up in half um, because, again, this video is probably going to be long enough. So I may or may not uh, break this in half. But anyway, I'm so glad you guys found me. I'm newer to YouTube, so please, please like and subscribe. I'm trying to grow my channel so that I can keep sharing information that will be helpful for you when you're out thrifting and sourcing. And I hope your thrifting has been amazing lately, and I hope that uh, your sales have been amazing as well. So anyway, like and subscribe, and let's get started. I have some really, really cool stuff that I have to share with you guys. A couple of brands I've never heard of before, but I am going to start off with a topo designs jacket look at this this is a beautiful like a canvas chore jacket it kind of reminds me of carhartt but the comps are anywhere from like 50 to 75 dollars so yeah i've never heard of it um my stores on the weekend fridays and saturdays are half off uh, my average sales uh my average purchase price was five dollars for my stuff, but there was a couple of things that I paid up on. Like this one was $10 um, that I paid for, but it was super exciting. Um, this backpack was only $5. I don't know if it's leather or not. I can't really tell, but I plan to keep it for myself, but I wish there was a brand, but there isn't a brand, but this is super cool. Just a travel and stuff. Again, I can't tell if it's leather or not. It feels like it is, but not a hundred percent. So I think I'm just going to keep that. <coughs> excuse me um again this is a lot of bread and butter but then again i have a couple of designer items that i found maybe just one let's see anyway matilda jane you guys all probably know the brand um this is like a sh loose like a baby doll shirt floral i don't think it's a dress or maybe it might be a dress because an ex extra small um let me see it might actually be a dress but yeah, just like a super light material. Matilda Jane, I think the value has gone down a little bit. And I think this is like the brand from Joanna Gaines. I want to say I'm not 100% sure, but it might be. But this sells for about 20 bucks. Also, I've heard lately that uh, Becky Park um, has uh, found a lot of like the grandpa sweaters or these really cool colorful sweaters she says if you guys see them pick them up not all of them i know but this was a pretty cool material content it was wool like a grandpa sweater and i know she's been selling some for like between 50 and 75 dollars and then i got one more look at how cool this one is as well it's an embassy row oh i don't think i mentioned the brand on the other one the other one is a g g i o i don't know how you say that but this is uh says it's 100% sh wool shillin. I don't know what that means. But it's wool. But look at that. I think I'm going to price this one pretty high. Maybe $80 or so. There was a few other ones. But weren't the material content were, was not as good. These two out of the five that I saw, I grabbed. And I was trying to be a little selective because I had so much inventory already from the day. So, yeah. I didn't pick all of them up. I kind of already forgot what I got yesterday what I found oh this was L.L. Bean this was six bucks I don't pick up everything L.L. Bean but I think this will do good it's a uh let me see this is a men's medium it says on here just a lightweight like feels like polyester or nylon I have no idea I'm sure I can look and find it let me see uh nylon it's made in the USA so uh, I'm not sure if all L.L. Bean is or not, but yeah, this is has a hood. I would say about $30 to $40 on that. This brand, I don't pick up Michael Kors, but the reason I did was because it was a Michael Kors new with tags. The MSRP is $89.50. Of course, I'm going to take off this TJ Maxx, but it's only $5. Look at that. That is a beautiful blue stretchy pant, perfect for the office, like a legging. Again, I don't pick up all Michael Kors, but I feel like this could do okay. I would say like around $30 or so. Um, this kind of purse I picked up time and time again. It was only a dollar. This is a Sack Roots canvas. I would say I can get 15 to 20 bucks on this guy. And 
I was I told myself that I was gonna stay away from handbags because I have so many, but I could not pass up on those two that I already showed you guys because the price was so cheap. Let's see what else what else I have here. Uh, let's see what this one is. Okay, this is a lucky brand. I'm gonna have to stand up for this one. Look at this dress. It's like a long, like a maxi dress. But this is a Lucky Brand Extra Small. As you guys know, Lucky Brand has like their boho styles. I think do really good. But this seems super oversized for being an extra small. I think I wear like a small, but this is like I'm swimming in this. So I'd say it fits like a large more than anything. This next piece that I got for my daughter. Um, where is it? I can't believe I didn't even know that. Ugg made clothing for some reason. I know they made blankets and I know um, they make boots. But look, for school for her, I have two, by the way, I have two adult children. My daughter is in college. She still lives at home. My son does not. But so when I'm out and about, obviously I'm always looking out for things that she can wear comfortably to school. But she was super excited about this two piece Ugg set. For, and I got it for $6 for both pieces. So again, I did not know that Ugg made clothing. So, and you can't go wrong with that. If she doesn't end up keeping it, I will absolutely sell it. Oh, this is a good brand, Bread and Butter again. You guys probably know this brand already. Uh, let me see, oh, it's washing out, but it's, there you go. Soft Surroundings, Metro Ankle. You guys, it was new with tags. So six bucks. Women's just like stretchy pants, extra large. The size was amazing. New tags, soft surroundings. Yes, I'm going to pick that up for sure. Um, the next, the brand is Vocal, B-O-C-A-L. I think I have another shirt in my closet from them. Hasn't sold, but this has pretty good comps. It was only two bucks and it was a good size. It was a, wait, I think it was an extra large. Let me find it real quick uh extra large and i'm going to list it for about 25 30 bucks and look at the little detailing on their little stones i hope the lighting is better today you guys um i'm trying to film like right in my room next to this just like right by the window so i can get better lighting okay these are for me for work Zara Zara trafalic and yeah so nothing special but these are gonna be for me for work um the next is a Patagonia t-shirt. Um, I don't normally pick this up again. I wouldn't have picked it up because it's not substantial, but I've done like two posh shows already and I'm planning to do a Patagonia show. And for $3.50, you know what? I'll, I picked it up with my posh show in mind. So just a cotton tee, women's extra large. Yes, I'll pick that up. So I keep reaching over. It's just my stuff is like right in front of me. Let me see what this is. Where are you at? What's the style? I can't find it. Huh. Okay. I will come back to this one. I don't know what it is or if I'm holding it. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Another soft surroundings. This is also an extra large. So I'm thinking that the same person donated this. Three bucks. It's um, this perfect season for it. It's got that like, I don't know what you call this kind of uh, neck. I forget. But anyway, it's a beautiful teal uh, sweater. It feels like acrylic to me. And again, 25, 30 bucks for that. I found some pants. I found these in the past and they always sell. It's like a vintage brand. Xana D or Xana Die. I don't know what it's called, but I've sold them seriously about three times. This is a size 18. And they are like wide bottom and wide bottom is in right now not super wide but wide enough again great size 30 bucks or so and i love the uh button up detail on the front so these would have no problem selling because like i said i've sold these time and time again um this next find was super expensive uh not, well expensive for me i normally don't like to pay up but this was 19.99 with half off at the salvation army but look at this asos design and this is like a bomber jacket like a 
uh, what was it called? What was the style called? Um, it's like a sports. Look at all these little logos on there. But this was sold out on their website and it was selling for $169. And it says it's all leather. It's an extra small, but it's supposed to be oversized. I'm thinking to even keeping it for me. Like it's such a cool, might be a little bit big for me, but it's supposed to be oversized. So I couldn't believe it. It was there. It was obviously in the boutique section for $19.99. Yesterday, for some reason, my Salvation Army was half off their boutique stuff, which I don't think that ever really happens, but that is so cool. Yeah, and there's a really cool model picture so I know I say I'm probably going to keep it or maybe just for a little bit, but I know I should list it because I would probably list it at a hundred bucks. So yeah, that's pretty cool. This, I don't know if I should have picked it up or not. It's a Madewell. Madewell doesn't move very much, but it's a size and it's not even a great size. It's a size small. My size, uh, this is going to be maybe in the maybe pile for me. Again, I, I saw the comps on, on these and they probably sell for about 19 was it 19 to 25 dollar range oh i'm always looking for clothes for me for work as well this is another cute bread and butter it's called august silk like i said i didn't buy this for a resale this is just for me i figure with a cute little um shirt underneath it would look really nice for the office so that's on my pile and okay olokai if you guys have heard of that brand i found a couple of Olakai shoes. Um, these were seven dollars. They are super distressed looking, but when I grab them, the quality is amazing. I'm gonna hit them with Wonder Balsam, the Doc Martens. Obviously, they're kind of beat up, but for seven bucks with the half off price, you guys. And again, the quality is amazing. These are also my size, but I don't need another pair of boots, so I'm gonna end up listing them. But they are heavy. So for, again, seven bucks with half off, $3.50, I'm not going to leave those behind either. And if I didn't mention, this is a cumulative haul. This is on several thrift stores around my area. The only time I'm really able to thrift are on Fridays. And like I said, Fridays and Saturdays are usually half off. This is the next brand, and I found three pairs of these shoes. It's Arco Pedico. It's like a comfort shoe. Oops. Give me a second here. A comfort shoe but I found him in red and in blue and I found him also like in a taupe color but other than that little writing on the bottom I don't think they've were ever worn so I think I'm gonna lock these up and sell them for a hundred bucks because I've seen the comps on these they sell anywhere from 30 to 38 dollars a piece I figure maybe do all of them for a hundred bucks free ship They've just put them all like in a padded flat rate envelope. So yeah, I would, if they would have been only one pair, I don't think I would have got these, but because they're all the same exact size and I'm going to lock them up together. And these were for all three of them. I did pay 18 bucks, but you know what? If I could get a hundred bucks for them, that's amazing. The next brand. Oh, here's another Olakai. I found some men's sneakers for Olakai. They only wanted four bucks for these. With 20% off men's sneakers. I, I have some more in my closet. They haven't moved for me yet. So I don't know. It's I think the sandals, the brown leather sandals and Olakai do way better. But again, for three bucks, definitely pick up. The next item, <coughs> Ellie Tahari. Definitely um, like at the stores, it's super expensive but the resale value is not there but i picked this up <coughs> excuse me i was tickled in my throat um but this was silk 100 silk um and it's my size as well but i don't think i need to keep it but it's super adorable fits me perfect i figured like this could be worn with like a little black shirt underneath with slacks for the office but yeah, the only reason I picked up this uh, Ali Tahari is because of the material content uh, being silk and all. I think that uh, you can ask a little bit more for it. The next brand is another Matilda Jane. This is also a size extra small. Again, I think the same person donated it. This I think is a shirt. Yeah, it has to be a shirt because it's super short. 
um, with some leggings and some boots for the office. That would be super adorable. So I may lot this one up with that dress I showed you guys a little bit ago. The next I just thought was adorable. Uh, bon Jovi graphic tee. I saw this one sell for 20 bucks. It was four bucks, half off, it's size large. So I got it for two. I think that's super cute. Hmm. I'm always like, should I keep it? Uh, I don't know. I don't, I'll put it in the maybe pile. I'm not sure. The next was a score, you guys. Do you guys recognize that logo back here? And these were only 10 bucks in the boutique section. I looked up these comps for the Tory Burch boots. I forget what this style is called. They are some listed for $129 and mine are in mint condition. Obviously, I'm going to hit them with some Wonder Balsam, but I cannot believe, and they're my size as well. I'm not keeping them, but they're my size. I love this little gold detail on there. But yeah, can you guys believe that, Tory Burch? So this is like my third $100 item that I think I found. So, so far that one jacket that I showed you guys, the first item, this one and then that bomber jacket from ASOS, I think I'm gonna list them all for a hundred bucks. And actually even those Arco Petticoats. So I did pretty good. Again, my average cost of goods yesterday was about five bucks. This, hmm, Eileen Fisher, Eileen Fisher, sells but like the wool stuff her high her higher material content sells better but again this was two bucks it's a 1x i think it's just cotton it's got that wrinkly material let me see yep it's cotton it's got a hoodie on it i don't know if it was a mistake but for two dollars you guys i think i can definitely flip that for like 20 bucks so i was like eh, when you get home it's like why did i buy that Oh, the next is a cool, cool find. Doesn't that tag look vintage, that Levi's tag? Levi's Authentic uh, Medium. Now, but see, it wasn't made in the USA. It was made in Mexico. But that was really, really cool. He only wanted uh, five bucks. Half off was $2.50. Denim jacket. I think it's a ladies. Oh, I've already said it, but ladies medium. That's what I'm going to list it under. Although it can be unisex, but yeah, Levi's is a great brand to look for. Not everything Levi's, but oh, the next is definitely for me, you guys. Look at that. Dooney and Burke wallet, almost new. It was 10 bucks with 20% off though on this one. The wallets at this thrift store were only 20% off, but that's okay because it's for me. And I did have to, being the reseller that I am, I did have to look it up. And they sell between $35 and $45. But look at that cheetah leopard print. I don't know what the what it is, but that is so pretty. So that's on my, my pile there. I like this next brand for me, you guys. Uh, not for me, but to sell is what I meant. These Cole Haan leather, like driving loafers. Look at that. Six bucks, half off, three dollars. They have like that hook and loop on here. They look in pristine condition. Of course, I'm going to hit them with some Wonder Balsam as well. And they're a great size. I want to say they're a size 13. Where is the size at? Why can't I find this? Oh, there it is. 13. Yep. So that's a great brand. Uh, let's keep moving on. You know what? I think I'm just going to go ahead and finish the haul up because um, I think there is... Oh, I found some amazing shoes. Half off, by the way. These are beautiful, and I think these can fetch me maybe a 100 bucks too. Sorrells. These are women's, and they're a size 11. And if I haven't said it before... The women's, the larger shoe sizes sell great because they don't make too many big sizes like that. So yeah, pick them up if they are bigger sizes. But look at even the little fur, it looks great. It doesn't look matted or anything. The bottoms look great. These were 10 bucks, but yeah, the Sorrells. And I found a style name to it or whatnot, but 
amazing, amazing find. Sorrel is a great brand. So I have, I do see it all the time, but I also leave it behind if it's too beat up. But those boots looked outstanding. This is another Kohan, um, three bucks, men's fisherman sandal, all leather, half off, has some wear at the bottom. And I want to say that they are men's. Uh, I hope there's a size, you guys. I think there is. Nine? I think they're men's. What do you guys think? Leave me a comment if you guys know what, what these are. Or I'll have to look up the do a Google Lens, you guys. If you guys don't use Google Lens, in seconds, it will tell you what you are looking at or what you have or style name or what or anything else. Okay. The next, I've picked up time and time again, Laredo boots. They're teal color, but they're a size six. They are tiny, you guys. But for three bucks, Laredo, that, and people with tiny feet need shoes too. So I've sold small sizes and small sizes do sell. Like with the large sizes, the little sizes sell as well, but the leather is buttery soft. So Laredo is a good brand. Again, for three bucks. Oh, and I'm going to save the best piece for last too. Oh, here's the Echo Driving Loafers. Meh. These were four bucks. I have a bunch of little rocks, which I'm going to pick out with the Wonder Blossom. But look, hardly anywhere. Not saying to run out and pick up all Echo, but the Comfort Shoes sell. So these I looked up, they're like anywhere from 40 to 50 bucks. And the next pair, I found this pair exactly before. Um, I sold it for like $125. They were in better shape than these, but Hoka, One One, you guys, the high top boot. I've sold the low top time and time again, 35, 40 bucks. Uh, this is the second time I found this high top and I sold it for $125 on eBay. Again, these have more wear, but they have a couple of great factors going for them. They have the, is a Vibram or Fibram sole on these and, um, they, like I said, they do have wear. They kind of look like a camel print. I'm going to wash them, and they are Gore-Tex. So anything with Gore-Tex, you guys, adds more value. So, yeah, I scored. Yeah, like I said, they have some peeling. I may just list them a little bit lower, but Hoka One One is an amazing brand. I bought some this last June. I got some for my birthday. And I will never buy another brand of running shoes again. Love, love to run. But again, other shoes have bothered me in the past. And these are just amazing. But the high top Gore-Tex Vibram score. So I'm going to say between 90 and 100 bucks. So I think overall, oh, let me see. I think I see one more thing. Oh, no, that's not it. But anyway, overall, I think it was an amazing thrift haul. Um, again, I couldn't wait to come on here and share it with you guys. Now I have to get to listing. Um, and yeah, so I my return on investment is gonna be amazing. I forget what the exact amount was that I spent on everything, but I think I have about four $100 fines in this uh, haul. So again, thank you, Go. this is my part-time hustle. I make a great, in great income from just doing this part-time. This is what I love to do. Again, you guys like this kind of content, like and subscribe. And I will see you guys next week with my what sold. And we'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.